Well, hello, how's it going everybody? Hope you are well, blessed, beautiful and happy in abundance as always. Welcome back to the Synergy Organics supposed to be live show today, uh, but we are once again recording this for you guys. So thank you for being here with us once again and tr we truly appreciate you all. Welcome back to the live show today. Etan, how are you doing over there? Absolutely amazing. Thank you to our guests for joining in on this beautiful video today. Um, yeah, keen to jump back on and share more information and uh, get creative with our presentation. That's absolutely awesome. So today, guys, we are going to be talking about the awesome topic of protein powders and what they do for you and why they are absolutely necessary for you. So, Etan, can you tell us a little bit about what protein actually is, please? Omegas, uh, you know, those are macronutrients, so proteins, fats, carbohydrates, and, you know, within protein, um, omegas um, and essential fatty acids. But uh, omegas, you know, being um, three, six, and nine, you know, a fantastic example is hemp protein or um, dehulled hemp seeds or what we like to call hemp hearts. Um, absolutely incredible because they have... Uh, perfect balanced ratio of omegas and essential fatty acids so yeah you you get a variety of different omegas those are the micro uh, nutrients that come from proteins uh, that make up the collective uh, pro what we call protein that's amazing you know protein is very 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 powerful and it does come from multiple sources you get plant-based sources you get animal-based sources um, and then you get vegetables slash uh you know certain fruits certain vegetables and quite a lot of vitamins and minerals have the protein compound in it but it's just depending on how much and then it depends on the structure of that particular uh plant or animal that can determine how much protein source actually comes from one of those sources now for the sake of this video we're going to be talking about how what is protein powders what are protein powders and how are they made? So, uh, you know, how is protein powder made? Etan, can you perhaps go through discussing how hemp protein powder is made as the first example? Because obviously our business is based on hemp. Yes, absolutely love hemp. Um, and just want to be clear that, um, you know, of course, in the plant kingdom, you do get your proteins within all um of the vegetables you know superfoods um fruits but they come in different ratios so you know that's a key element there um but how um hemp protein is made is quite beautiful so what actually happens is they take the whole seed um and then they press the oil out of that they extract oil so hemp seed oil um is extracted from that and then the cake is left over that dried out cake then gets put into a sifting machine and is refined, refined, refined and uh, made into a powder. And it's literally that simple. I um, mean, you could consume that. You can put that in smoothies. You can bake with it. Um, you can put it as an after sprinkle on uh, your foods. Um, it really, um, yeah, it's, it's got like a neutral earthy taste to it. Um, but it's something that you would have to get used to if you are um, the type of person that's uh, got sweetening whey protein powders and those kinds of things, um, because, of course, that tastes delicious, you know. Um, but we understand that there's sugars in there and refined um, other products. So, yeah, that's as simple as it, as it is made. Um, you know, anything with flax, uh, you know, you could grind that down into a powder and then you've got flax powder, you know, that's, that has a specific amount of protein in it. So, yeah, plants are really easy to make the protein. It's, um, it's not like animal sources of protein. Um, you know, we, of course, um, go to the abattoir, you know, and then put in packaging and what have you. Um, I like to call that secondary protein uh, because the animal's eating the protein. The animal has the protein fixed in its muscles, and then you go and eat that. So, yeah, hope that makes sense. And, um, yeah, eat your plants. That's what it is. 
Definitely. So, you know, thanks for that example. And, you know, hemp protein is, and plant proteins are one of the most simple proteins, as you are talking about. Uh, even to the point where whey protein, as the example, and this is not to, to, to throw whey protein under the bus in any way whatsoever, but, you know, when you're extracting plant-based proteins, there's no chemical processes. It's lit literally just a squeezing of the juices uh, and call it the vitamins and minerals out the plants and essentially then you're left with a dried up pulp that is then um, uh, spray dried and then that is how you get your beautiful powders. Now hemp protein as Etan said goes through a bit of a, a slightly different process but it is essentially a sieving process to to refine the quality of protein. In other words, how much protein you get out of that um, that uh, sieved material. So you can get anything from up to 15% protein, right up to about 95% protein in the hemp side of things. In in your um, in your ways and your isolates in this, you can actually get quite a bit of protein as well anything up to 82 grams of protein so you know there are multiple discussions there around protein but essentially what you're wanting to look at is the fact that whey protein is extracted with a chemical called hexene and hexene is cancerous it's toxic um, and that is the only way they can basically get to split the fat particles from the the protein particles from the full fat slash cheese um, that is basically manufactured from cow's milk. So that goes through a whole lot more processes to get it to a finished product. And, you know, whey protein has been known to cause bloating and um, many, many side effects, sometimes headaches, etc. And that's let alone if you're adding any sort of synthetic ingredients into it. So. Um, you know, Etan, we've highlighted that you do get different types of protein powder and, uh, you know, we of course specialize in plant protein powders and that's why we are here discussing and turning our focus and our attention back to, to hemp and pea protein and, uh, you know, we get all different kinds of protein powders. Can you, can you name a couple, Etan? Uh, wow. I, I mean, oats is one, you know, moringa powder is a fantastic source of um, uh, protein. You know, you get, like you mentioned, um, hemp protein powder at a 30% ratio, 50%, 70%, 95% ratio. So that's further and further refined. Um, it's not chemically extracted. It's further and further refined, making it um, yeah, a lot more um, easily accessible. Um, yes, uh, you, you know, I mean, oats, like I mentioned, flax, um, all different types of uh, plants have them, you know, kale, um, you know, kelp has, has it, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, Irish steam moss is a fantastic source of omegas and essential fatty acids as well, um, but a really good source of iron, um, yeah, and I mean, the, li the list literally does go on. I mean, there's so many different types of plants that you can get protein from. So, yeah. Pumpkin Do you have any in mind? Protein. Yeah, pumpkin seed one. protein, rice protein. Um, uh, Purple yes. sweet potato powder. Yeah. You know. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, obviously, more specifically, like protein powders, those are what you're looking at. I mean, even if you look at goji berries, goji berries are 28 grams of protein per 100 grams. Not many people know that, but uh, that's a little berry, guys, and that has 28 grams of protein in it. So, you mm -hmm. know, just uh, keep a close eye out on our channel so that you guys can see the differences between your proteins, the differences in your superfoods, what they are. And if you click on some of our products, uh, if you click on our products on our website, you will actually get the 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 direct information about that product and what that product is and the benefits that that product is going to give you the nutritional values and of course then what the product will then do for you and your family so uh Etan, is there a difference in protein powders for women and protein powders for men can you maybe describe a little bit of that from your experience 
Okay. Um, you know, I, I would say that, yes, I mean, there are different qualities of, um, you know, proteins once yeah. again. Um, you know, but as mentioned earlier, protein is the macronutrient. The micronutrients are the 20 essential amino acids, uh, lysine, arginine, um, and all the rest. And yeah, those those play a pivotal role in, of course, our hormonal balance and our hormonal um, development. But for the most part, um, yeah, I mean, the body does absorb it. Protein's really good at releasing uh, lactic acid from the body. Uh, that's why hemp protein, you have a faster recovery time and actually you can, it's been proven uh, uh, to give people more endurance. Um, you know, we've had athletes utilize our products and they said that they're 20 to 25% increase in their time, you know, doing comrades, marathons and all the rest. Uh, glutamic acids, you know, um, valine, you know, these are all the amino acids that make up the protein and again they come in different ratios in different plants uh, but we like to call hemp protein powder a complete um, protein you know simply because it has all 20 essential amino acids and it is a fantastic source but yeah great question Kiara and no not much difference definitely not much difference in my eyes um, you know both of us are both male and female are made up of the same molecules and DNA, etc. That's a very good statement, Etan. So um, we'll t I'll touch base a little bit on that, just you know, for the the community here. But we're looking now at the hemp protein part of fifty percent. Uh, we do have a seventy percent available, and that would mean seventy grams of protein per hundred grams. The fifty percent equals fifty grams per hundred grams. And if you come over here to our website and you have a look at our label, etc., and um, you just see what it is that we we share with you, there's a reason why we selected hemp protein to be the base protein across our all of our shakes, um, and that is because of the the facts that Etan said. First of all, it's extremely high in protein. Okay, one of the highest. Its carbohydrate value doesn't actually come from any sugars in it because you can see the natural sugars are about three grams, but it does come from the fiber. And that carbohydrate in the fibrous part of the plant is there to basically give you your, your gut extreme amounts of fiber, digestive fiber, soluble fiber, and uh, that will mean that you can digest this protein a whole lot easier. And because hemp protein is the closest rel related to the human globulin, and this uh, DNA globulin is called Edistin. Edistin is, uh, so 65% of our blood is made up of Edistin. And that's why we selected the hemp protein, because not only of the protein and the 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 protein balance, the carb, the sugar, and the fiber balance, but it also has a perfectly balanced ratio of omega-3, 6, and 9 in a 3 to 1, 1 ratio. And with all of this, you're actually getting a very, very well-rounded protein that is a complete protein source. There, there are very, very few proteins on the market that are complete uh, or available that are complete protein sources. Now, um, you ask us which protein source is the best. Well, you know, we made specific proteins. Like Etan said, we made very specific proteins that do uh, that serve different functionality or different purposes. So let's just run through one or two of those very quickly. So they all have hemp protein as the base in it. The Bayo banana shake is like a prebiotic shake. Um, the, the green tea protein shake is a gut health shake. Our hemp protein is a standard hemp protein. Our intelligent protein is a recovery, lean recovery shake. Then we have our delicious, uh, this is one of the favorite, and this is, so, you know, if we were to give a male a protein, you know, I'd say, you know, throw them on the, the intelligent protein shake. And then a female, we would then probably give them the super berries protein shake, although it's not, locked up into this is masculine and this is feminine it's just a preferred flavor of each gender really so like 
females mostly prefer berries. I'm not. Um, that's quite generalized. So, um, but this super berry shake is an anti-aging shake. So men also want anti-aging. They also want to glow. They also want to look good for their partners and you know themselves. So super berries is that option that we created to to help. Uh, you now there's protein in many of our products like we have have just said to you guys but essentially what we're really looking for is the distinguishment of um you know is is protein so it can you tell us is why is protein powder good for us um and can you tell us a little bit about that please well well like you said um you know, it relates to the globulin. Edison relates to the globulin in our bloodstream. So it helps filter out all toxic um, um, waste uh, from the bloodstream, but also assists in repairing uh, muscle recovery. And that's why we we uh, recommend intelligent protein um, for all of our athletes out there, specifically because uh, we've, we've formulated um, intelligent protein to be specifically related to uh, muscle recovery. Um, so think of it as an aftershake. Um, you know, we don't like to see a pre and post workout shake. Um, but yeah, if it had to be intelligent protein, will be uh, that. So yes, um, you know, after after a workout, our muscles are torn. Um, you know, even the uh, down to the ligaments, they're torn. And it does need to regenerate itself, rebuild itself. And the, the proteins definitely help build that uh, back together. And yeah, amino acids are that form of micronutrients that goes into the muscle system. So yeah, the muscular system, uh, you know, astrologically relates to um, the sun, but more specifically Mars, that Mars movement, you know, quick action, orientated energy around it so yeah fantastic fantastic energy there that's great and you know so another thing is is it good to take protein powder every day i mean yes uh we are protein beings literally our hair skin nails dna um our entire our blood is all built up of protein and the thing is, is that you should be getting a certain amount of protein in every single day. And if you're getting a complete or a perfect protein, then you know that you are going to set yourself up in your body for a very, very good, healthy um, protein absorption uptake. Um, and, you know, how many, like, how, to, how do you get your protein in? So if you're plant-based, you know, we'll touch base on this in perhaps another video. But if you're plant-based, there are many ways for you to get your protein in. If you're omnivorous, you know, guys, you're welcome to come over and check our meal plans out here. We have um, a classic meal plan for omnivorous, plant-based, for plant-based, and vegetarian, for vegetarians. You have different sources of protein within each of those. It's up to the individual, and it is also up to um, the individual's blood type on what they should be eating and how they should be eating. But if we really look back to to... Uh, Genesis, I think it's Genesis 1.22, I, I can't quite remember the, the one. But basically in the Bible, Genesis says, you shall be given the seed as the flesh of life. And, you know, what they're literally talking about is the seed. The seed is not, um, it's not animal-based proteins. It's all plants and um nutrients from plants. And this is where people should, you know, at least have some fun with us and join us in our community because we do th fun things like meet this mondays smoothie challenges uh we do all kinds of really cool things and you guys should subscribe to our channel if you are enjoying this video so far so we truly appreciate that and we appreciate you now etan what happens to you when you drink protein uh when you drink a protein shake without working out what happens you know well, um, you know, that kind of relates to your question of like, okay, can we overload our body on protein? And yes, um, you know, the research leads to um, anything in excess gets stored in the body. Okay, so um, that relates to somebody not really exercising and burning the fat, burning the protein, you know, recycling. 
the nutrients that are coming into the body. So, you know, um, when we take too much protein, there's elevated blood lipids, uh, you know, that could lead to heart disease, it could lead to headaches, uh, nausea, you know, it can also um, clog up the kidneys. I think that's a that's a very big thing, you know, clogging up the kidneys. So we always, always promote exercise, um, health, e healthy eating and exercise go hand in hand. Um, you know, don't think of them as separate. They are one and the same thing, same, same, but different. Um, so they're polar opposites, but at the same time, they complement each other. Um, it's like a full moon, you know, that's exactly what it is. We understand that uh, the sun plays a role in the full moon and the moon is the full moon, of course. But um, yeah, we, it's, it's really, really important to do exercise. Um, if you're unable to do exercise and you're having protein, um, it's not a bad thing all in all, but just don't over consume it, um, you know, without doing a walk around the block or, you know, 50 push-ups at least, or some sit-ups or some squats. I mean, that you could do in a one square meter radius, you know, on the floor in your bedroom. So there literally are no excuses other than setting aside two minutes to do 50 push-ups or whatever the case is. And um, yeah, that will get your metabolism going. Um, yeah, like that will prevent um, unhealthy breath. Unhealthy breath would come from the, the, the lymphatic system and the gut digestive system, not actually processing um, those, those uh, proteins and carbs, those macronutrients all in all. So yes, just be careful about over consuming if you're not doing exercise. If you are, you know that you're recycling all of those nutrients there. Very cool. I completely agree with you. And uh, yeah, over, over consumption of protein can cause um, liver disease um, and it can, can put strain on the livers and uh, you essentially don't want to be doing that. So you want to be getting in just enough protein for, you know, how you function per day. So just what does that what does that average protein content look like for um a person that doesn't really exercise is about 0 0.8 to 1 gram of protein per per kilogram of body mass so if you're 100 kilos i'm just using this as an example but if so that the math is easy but if you're 100 kilos you need to be getting in at, at least 100 grams of protein per day if you're kind of meat mm -hmm medium uh and you do a little bit of exercise but you're not a you know you're not like always physically active i'd say anything kind of between 1.2 to 1.4 grams of protein and then if you are a very physical athlete we would say then probably anything up to about 1.8 maybe 1.9 grams of protein per body uh, mass which kind of ends up looking like around 180 to 190 grams of protein uh, for you, your body mass of 100 kilos. Um, but generally, you know, like it's also depending on what you're looking for in your body. More protein consumption can essentially lead to, to unhealthy liver status, but you would also be able to, if you're a fully fledged functioning athlete, athlete and you're physically active, you can even get up to about 250, 200, kind of 230, 250 grams of protein in per day. And that must be spread out over, you know, the meals and the smoothies, etc., that you are consuming. So, um, Etan, I would like to mm. just share this, this one with you. I mean, so a lot of people obviously ask, you know, should I use protein powder and creatine? My personal view is that protein powder is definitely number one. You can add a scoop of creatine to it. Um, it does, it does help to give you a bit of strength and a bit of mass um, and creatine monohydrate isn't a terrible supplement but it's not my most favorite and number one supplement um, and essentially you should be able to get natural creatine from certain plant-based protein types but often people only think that you can get it from your cow's meat so you know do you have uh, something on the creatine pro protein side of, of things do you think it's good uh, yes, definitely does help um, bone regeneration, um, you know, it, it helps blood flow, it helps replace healthy cells, um, you know, there, there's a lot that has to do with brain functionality and health, 
um, there. So definitely the two work hand in hand, just like magnesium, you, you know. So um, we advocate biodiversity. You know, just because this talk is about protein today doesn't mean to say that, oh, it's only protein you should be getting in. Biodiversity is the healthiest thing that you could do for your body when you consume um, any sort of thing. So, so going to your local supermarket, you know, just getting tomatoes and lettuce over a 30 year period, you're going to be highly malnourished. So explore things. That's why vitamins are made. You know, explore things. Um, you know, spirulina is an extremely high uh, source of protein, um, calcium, and it has um, uh, a lot of different multi minerals in it. So you again, you want to get that biodiversity in, and I, I think that answers your question about the creatine, Kiara, and uh, the protein source. Yeah, for sure. And, you know, like often a lot of people want to know what protein to use for for weight gain and what protein to use to get lean. So we've showed you guys our intelligent protein, which is a protein that you can use to get lean. But, you know, bodies are made in the kitchen and they are chiseled in the gyms, guys. That's something that mm -hmm. you need to just recognize. Um, so, yeah, that is a very important statement there. But essentially, what we've done for for people is 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 we've created a combination, um, and we have actually this product coming out sometime this year. But essentially, what we've done is we've created a beautiful product out of our hemp protein and our purple sweet potato powder with some moringa and spirulina, and a couple other very very special ingredients. And because of the carbohydrate base in the purple, the low GI carbohydrate, diabetic friendly carbohydrate in purple sweet mm. potato, mm. that will help you to mass gain as well, especially if you are on a plant based diet and you feel as though you may be not getting enough of your carbohydrates or your, your protein. So that is definitely something that uh, we are busy doing at the moment in the background for you guys. So stay tuned, subscribe to our channels and make sure you guys are keeping closely tuned for what is going on in our social media presence. You know, subscribe to our newsletter because we are most active in our newsletter more than any of our social media, etc. So go check us out there. We have always announcements to share with you. So. Um, you know, is protein powder good for weight loss, Etan? And how many uh, shakes should I drink a day to lose weight? Wow. Um, yeah, look, I mean, there, there's a lot of different weight techniques uh, that you can do. Like something as simple as, you know, having a regular warm to hot shower and then 10 seconds of, uh, you know, full on cold. Um, just to just to flush the system, give the body a shock, um, increase your uh, metabolism and your immunity. Um, that's a fantastic way of doing things. But yeah, I mean, uh, uh, you know, a person like you actually takes up to three smoothies a day, whereas me, I take one smoothie a day, you know, and I have one main meal a day. Um, but within that main meal, I attempt to get, um, you, you know, moringa powder in there. I definitely am putting my um him parts on my meal i mean i, I, I want to be able to get that as a uh, greater quality and nutrient as possible so i would even put flax seeds in i put chia seeds in i you know just really diversify my essential amino acid source so yeah i mean it it does depend on your lifestyle i would say you know it's not like you now got to change things up um, but it is important to keep a rhythm going so that the body knows um, what it is and um, that it's going to be receiving on the daily. And you get these like natural cravings, <laughs> you know, towards the protein. Yeah. So, yeah, definitely love them. That's so true. And, you know, so, so yeah, it does, again, it, it draws back down to two simple rules. Are you athletic or are you not athletic? Grade exactly. yourself from those. Uh, grade yourself in those degrees and just be honest with yourself because you don't want to over consume protein but if you're an athlete you need to generally have more protein consumption than not okay because your body's requiring that that fuel that energy and that uh, those building blocks those amino acids for building blocks and if you guys have seen 
our other videos on our YouTube page. We have previously spoken about protein quite a few times on this channel. Let's go and see if I can share this video with you quickly there. Um, protein, power, myth or bust. Go, speak, go listen to that video. We'll leave it pinned in the cards above for you guys. Um, but definitely, you know, protein is a definite must for you guys. So, you know, with that being said, Etan, obviously, um, I said that you, or you, you mentioned to the community that I take three shakes a day. So you can take up to three shakes a day, but does that mean you must be replacing that with your meals, uh, uh, with uh, re having a sh meal replacement shake? You can, and this is the point of intermittent fasting, but that is a whole different exactly. topic. Um, mm. And, you know, with that being said, you actually, within that kind of realm, you need to be getting in enough protein in that six to eight hour uh, window eating period. And you need to be able to consume the right quantity of protein in that period. So, yes, to answer your question, a couple, at least two shakes to three shakes is essentially ideal for an athlete. If you're not an athlete, like one shake a day is actually... Is perfect um, so you know those are the generals about protein powder and we have brought up obviously the side effects of protein powder with you guys um, throughout this video and we've highlighted those for you so you know be cautious read your labels you know uh, when you come to Synergy Organics our products are clean we don't add any uh, additives fillers we literally are giving you this the exact product that we say that we're giving you in here um, and most of our products are organic certified so and we import from all across the world so you know truly I hope you guys are, are blessed and uh, and absolutely wonderful ask us any question you want to know down in the comments below in this video and of course Etan do you have any last uh, comments that you'd like to share with the community on protein powders uh, yeah, well, I th you definitely touched on it. Uh, it takes uh, a massive amount of self-discipline to have one smoothie a day, no meal, It'll keep your body hydrated and flush it out. So, yeah, I mean, if you're having three smoothies a day, um, your, your, your gut and your body is actually happy. Um, it's just because we're so used to consuming, consuming, consuming. And I always say to people, like when I fast or when somebody fasts, what happens within that first 12 hours or 24 hours is that the colon shrinking and actually the stomach is shrinking and we mistake that for hunger pains or hunger growls you know oh i'm hungry now because i can feel my stomach moving and then you know we go get something immediately so so who is actually in control the body or the mind and we need the mind and the heart to be in control you know, that mind-heart coherence, as uh, Joe Dispenza says, is very important. Um, and the body is the unconscious. It stores unconscious thoughts, emotions, behaviors, all kinds of things. So the, the second you start changing the dynamic, the body, it, it doesn't want that. It, 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 it wants to feel the normality it has been feeling for so long. So... Um, ultimately, you end up training the body um, in a different way. So, yeah, definitely be disciplined um, with your eating regime. Um, it's important to, um, of course, not calorie count, but uh, to know that you don't want to go and over-consume protein, um, you know, because it could cause other uh, different issues there, and it, especially secondary proteins, like, I, like we mentioned earlier, you know, it's a secondary source, whereas all plants are a primary source of protein, amigas, and essential fatty acids. So your body is able to break that down a lot easier. Okay, and yeah, that is what it is. So I appreciate the community listening in today. Thank you for your love, your kindness, and your energy. Kiara, you've been spot on, incredible. Always love your questions and um, your feedback there. Awesome, Etan, and thank you to you too for being here once again in the community um, and for sharing your, your insights and your thoughts and your knowledge on protein powders. Guys, we hope you enjoyed this content. Just join us every single Thursday for a live session. 
and uh, hopefully we can continue to bring through excellent content answer your questions come over subscribe to our twitter page as well our youtube page this is where we are sharing all the content with you guys so make sure to come over there and we will see you on the flip side thanks for being here with us once again and guys if you want you can go ahead and on our website uh, synergy organics we'll leave the link down below for you but you could if you do a uh, survey here we can give we will give you a 20 percent uh, discount uh for doing that survey for us so truly appreciate that's on you. top yeah. mm, that's on top that's on top of um your first order being 15 percent off so if you do the the discount on the next order you're gonna get 20 percent. so save save your cash and get healthy with synergy organics thank you very much for being here yes. truly appreciate it much love and we'll see you on the next one Mm -hmm. Take care.